one star from MS Esports, which is unlikely. But he oh, are back again, and the tank will oh, keep running the anti, anti three star bases, which I feel yeah. like um, it's a nice thing for MS Esports because so far they had, they had not too many pro uh, too many problems against that. Yep, not too many problems indeed, and that's the thing is, will Natoa come in and secure at least a two star? Because what Vitang needs is a one stars to be making this comeback. But that log launcher is removing that multi target inferno. Grabs it, right? Oh no, okay, the logs do not grab it, but the Yetis will be able to path their way through. RC ability didn't take out the Arch Tower, but Yetis do grab the pull out the CC with the headhunter going off to the Queen as he can then Lalo into the town hall here as the Queen easily took out that headhunter as now the Hound is going to be quite annoying as the Queen will eventually pop this Hound. Yeah, eventually this Hound is going to pop with that Queen ability. It's even quicker. The poison is in place. But now the thing is the Ice Hounds are coming in. He's angling the Ice Hound that this hound is for sure go wait a second i just want to say that it's for sure going to freeze the town hall but because he's setting in the first um regular hound this is uh, getting a little bit problematic because this ice hound is exploding kind of late so he had to invest the freezes yeah. and with that having to go through this town hall, the queen though is stepping into the town of poison any second no tornado trap behind the town hall which is giving those loons a lot of freedom just moving through the town of poison nicely and going into oh, the back end, oh, 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 oh. having a couple of spells of this year's spell being a nice move as well. Yeah, that tornado trap was actually near the back side of the town hall, but the balloons kind of dodged it, which was closer to the clan castle. And the balloons are going to path their way around towards the multi target inferno. The queen is gone. Warden grabs this wizard tower. Oh, the balloons don't path their way to the multi. So the multi is the biggest threat here. As we drop the few minions to go for the clan castle, we do have an invisibility spell which he could use. I would use it on the... Okay, no, he uses it now to help make them invisible. Red air bombs, which were pulled by the minions, which were clutched. So these balloons did to get hit. What? Okay, those red air bombs were just dodged by those balloons because of the minions. And we've got ourselves a triple from Nichoa. And that is going to make it even more difficult to make a comeback for Vitang because now it's you're going to have to make up a three star differential in four attacks. Oh, big difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference. As Sincere Prayer coming in, and he indeed is trying to have a Sincere Prayer trying to say, hey, can we please make a comeback? Can something happen to MS Esports attacks? And hopefully we can get a one star from that. But as the clone. Comes down, he does actually make one of the Dragon Riders cloned up as he's passing his way into the single. That does go down as the Dragons are coming through towards the bottom side and into the middle towards those double ground expos. Yeah, into the double ground expos. I mean, those expos cannot do too much to defend themselves versus those Dragons. But they, they can take down all of those barbarians, which so far tanked nicely for that Queen. With the dragons going around the top side, but no, the headhunter oh, is going into the range of the clan castle. Yeah. That we have the lava hound coming out of this, and that's never something you want what? to see. The hound is being stuck there, but maybe with the royal champion, this is still going to work because this hound yeah. exploded way quicker than I thought. Yeah, it's gonna still work here as the RC ability goes off, hits and one shots the arch tower. Royal Champ's going to move into the Scatter. Queen's ability goes off. Cleared the Hound and the Pups. And it is going to be a 3-star indeed here for Vitang. So they're keeping pace with an answer of a 3-star. But they're still going to be down by 3 stars overall so far. So the only way Vitang has a chance is if something happens with a 1-star from MSC Sports. I just... I can't see the videos where you're going well, you know, they, they like farming, detail. okay? You know, they're, they're farmers. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you farm dragons, enough, you'll get, the... you get the resources. <laughs> <laughs> or, it, My... or, you know, there's, or there's the, there's gems that can help you a little bit too, you know? But, I mean, that, that's it, that's it for another story. A Synthi store here <laughs> is to try to use the Skelly Donut to grab the clan castle, to grab the Inferno Tower, and let that flame flinger grab the town hall. 
Yeah. Let the flame thing you grab the town hall, get the clan cast again. And he's just so consistent with those Getty Donuts. It's really impressive. And again, he is going with that route of bringing that flame finger for the town hall. Should be out of range of that mortar. And with that, he's going in with the king, with the queen, into this scatter compartment. There's already a couple of tests are popping up on this far left side. But things are looking great for Cynthia in this one. The only thing which can save him, which we do not obviously see at this point, are traps. Spring traps, and he might have a big problem. If there's no spring traps, we can already say this is going to be a great attack. But I saw already a couple of hogs flying. Hogs are flying indeed. And remember, when you use a warden ability, hogs can still fly. They've got their wings with the spring traps, and there they go. But my, the raw champs coming on the left side, taking out that multi. There's the heal into a giant bomb and bomb tower. More spring traps. Bye bye, hog riders. Loon off to the cannon on the far right. Another giant bomb. No spells left with a miner to use. You're probably wondering why does he have a miner? Well, the miner is to help kind of move its way in towards the core of the base where there might be a random building that you can't reach with wizards on the outside. But it's not going to matter here. He's got a middle left, and this is absolutely crushed. Cynthia, I think, you know, I'm, okay, you know, what I'm going to do is if I challenge Cynthia in a video, because he's, he's been featured on Judo's channel, on my channel, he's won the Creative Master series of mine, Cynthia, this is my challenge from getting that golden ticket, but we have a Tang Rallo coming in, and it's not a ring base, it's not the panel in the core, the anti tube, but this town hall, it's got a bunch of walls over to the top and bottom side with some sweepers pointing into it. As the king and queen are coming to the top side, queen's trying to pass their way into the eagle as king's going into the scattershot into the enemy royal champion. And let's see. As this queen is hopefully to try to get this value, the grand ward altar goes down and keeps that queen up. Yeah, he keeps that queen up and going in with... Pretty much the flipped approach, you want to say, because on those box bases, what you typically do, send the queen for the town hall, and then send the king in to the flanking scatter right there to make sure that you're, uh, well, getting the value, getting the pathing. And what he does, because he sees, okay, this tunnel compartment is really, really well protected. Instead, he's just going to flip everything and instead going for the town hall, he is going for the eagle. The question now, though, is, is this going to be enough value to make sure that he is getting the three star on this one with now having to Lalo from this far right side and having to get that town hall on the fly as well with having a really wide spread with his hounds, with his Lalo overall, and having to activate the town as well with collecting enough percentage. But wait a second, I think, uh, yeah. what was it? Already a minion or something activated it? Uh, yeah, either a mini or a lava pup, because I know that the lava hound pops near it and activated the tornado trap, which was fantastic. As a freeze comes down and skeleton spell onto the enemy queen, slows her down with a poison. Look at these balloons just pathing their way right on through this base, and this is crushed! Wow, what a beautiful hit here. That attack was gorgeous, really nicely done. Getting the lava pathing through, and... You can see, like, even though he's getting the three star, he's still he, he's still disappointed from this first attack. Like, yeah. uh, he, it really hurts. Like, he knows exactly. Okay, this is a great attack. This is a crushing attack onto this base. This base had no chance whatsoever. But he's still mad at his first attack in this series. And yeah, I mean, the difference is going to stay at those three stars overall. And Batang is doing everything they can to make sure that they have the chance of a comeback but at some point they need defenses and being a one star after that that would be kind of strange because they are uh -oh. they know um how big of a lead they have and starting yeah. with the lightnings early taking down the sweeper and Ilek is coming in with those dragons with the dragon riders right into this top set of the base He's having his king and then the queen most likely as well following around this right side let's see how that's going to work yeah, these dragons, dragon eyes, passing away straight into the scatter. You can pop the one ability to clip this limp, and brilliant. Does just that as some balloons pass off to the right. Balloons go into the floor with the dragons moving his way in. There's a single target inferno, and he lands. Oh, we got goblins, and then these super wizards 
are gonna come out to help. Oh, I wait. You remember that the super wizards can't survive a bomb tower. Oh no! Um, don't. Well, uh, uh, elk. You know that you landed on a bomb tower and super wizards can't survive that. He freezes. No skellies near the town hall, but he should be able to secure the two. Yeah, it's going to be a two star. Um, but I mean, it is a defense oh, in oh, theory. Oh, oh, three oh. defenses, three, <laughs> three defenses would be enough overall for the tank if the percent are not too high. And I feel like this attack is not going to end up on the craziest percentage overall. Uh, so, I mean, oh, you know what happened? The hope is there, but yeah. I think the blimp landed one tile wrong. I think he wanted the blimp to land into the compartment next to the single in town hall. And it yeah, was... that looks it, like a great it, spot for a blimp. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to land it on the bomb tower. No one would. I, I, I do my fair share of Blizzard Lalos. And I know I the last thing I want to land is on a bomb tower. Because bomb tower death damage is an instant kill to super wizards. So he just accidentally dropped the blimp a little bit too high. And it missed that area in between the town hall and single target inferno. Elk, totally understand now where you were sending that blimp. Very best of three, right? Best of two, you just add the two wars together. Best of three, if you lose, it doesn't matter. You just put that behind you and you just focus on the next war. That's a whole different kind of like system that that affects you. Where best of three, you can lose 15 to 10. And that really doesn't matter. You just win the next two wars, you can win it. So, there's players that like both scenarios. If you had to pick Itsu, which one would you rather pick? A best of two or a best of three as PSW comes in with these dragons and the blimp? Um, I feel like a best of three overall is cooler, but at the same time, it's really hard time management wise. Uh, yeah. That's, I feel like, the trickiest thing. But we can see a lot of loons getting cloned. I am not guaranteed sure if that was worth it at all because the sweeper is not going down. The single fern tower is not oh. going down and the hound is going to come out of this and things are looking tricky for PSW right now. He needs that three star to give his team the possibility of this comeback we were trying to hype up again. But with this blind falling short so much, I am not sure if that is going to work. With that king now going around the outside. Man, he has still the Royal Champion um, in the mix yep. with the Royal Champion ability. But is this going to be enough power? Freeze is in place. That means one more freeze. Maybe to save the day for the tank. Maybe to get another three star on the board. So maybe save wait. War. That RC ability was able to clutch and take out that air defense. This freeze will be huge for the Royal Champion, the Grand Warden. Oh, this ground expo is annoying here with a handful of dragons. That's three dragons. The king is like one shot from going down. Queen's ability is going to be huge. Two rock loons too. To drop probably on the archer tower on the left side, I would say. Maybe. Or to go in for the ground expo. Okay, yeah, there it is. Finally, the archer tower goes down to the rock loons. There's the freeze. He can still get this. Look at that. He is going to three-star PSW. They definitely needed that. The dream is staying alive. We are trying to hype this up as Oof. much as possible. But, I mean, again, MS Esports need one three-star and one two at this with this next attack. And they are All in. Right. Kingsman is back, not to hybrid, but to Queen Charge Hog Rider. And he is having right. the uh, War Wrecker cooked up, which is in a really interesting yeah. game. So let's see how much impact he can have with the siege machine. Yeah, with that king being deployed to go in towards the eagle artillery, the defending king is there as well. Remember, the defending king is quite annoying when you come in with hogs because the defending king will hit your hog and you'll need to invest quite a bit of headhunters to help take him down. But if your king is going to clear him, that's fantastic value for the rest of the hog attack as the king stepping up. He's going to actually take out a Tesla farm, and that's even more value, too. Uh, usually there's giant bombs, skellies, everything near a Tesla farm, and that queen is going to be clearing this here. And so Wall Wrecker is now working onto that middle multi-target Inferno as the healers... Oh! I'm going to take a second shot. Oh! They're like one red air bomb away from getting picked off here. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, but I feel like so far, the tank always had their Tesla form stacked together with spring traps. So that mm -hmm. he's finding this Tesla form would tell me that he's already taking care of a lot of the spring traps in this base, which then again yeah. is really good for Kingsman because we know it. I mean, uh, spring traps are the only really, by only, I mean like a really good counter to Hawk Riders. So yeah. that's like the one important thing he has to worry about. At the same time, though, it is only one rage left at this point for his queen. This queen still needs to get the town hall. There's no rage for oh. this uh, hog rider part, and that rage was really aggressive. He needs to use the ability. ability. Um, wow. That is going to be now he's interesting. He's not going to get a town hall here. No, oh, he's not no. going to get it yet. Yes, he's losing the heaters. Wow. No way. Oh, things no are way. really getting spicy here. Wait a second, hogs are going. Oh, wait! He's look at all these traps right next to the town hall. Oh, this could be a low percent. Wait a second, town hall's going to go down. There's the freeze. Town is going to get absolutely smashed by the town hall poison. And this is a two star. What? Wait a second, can Vitang make a comeback? Is this like if MS Esports puts twelve stars and M and Vitang get a Perfect war it is completely changed. Never count them out just yet. No way. Yeah, and I what? think at this point, um, the tank has overtaken MS Esports, at least on percentage. I mean, th this match has wow. become way closer yeah, they than have. I mean, we were talking about it. I think no one... Petition of ...with these types of pro teams here. A warning. Oh! Rage! That he was keeps close. the queen up! Oh, if that queen ability was forced, you, it would have been in, oh, so difficult to make a comeback here. But he keeps the queen ability intact. They continue for this queen charge. But did the queen go the right way is our question. It looks like it's so far so good as the blimps can be used for the town hall. Yeah, and it feels like that. He's going to wall break into the air defense. Exactly that is going to happen. What a wall yeah. break. Making sure the poison is wow. there. As long as this queen is now not backtracking, this looks great. Two more sneaky goblins to actually funnel the storages away as well. There's some more sneakies working on that as well. And that means the queen should go to that top side. And this entry looks awesome. I mean, take a look at what the queen can reach from that compartment. This looks really good. And then being able to send his hero maybe in around this top side to work even further. He has one wall break with him as well. Rage is there with that queen versus queen. We have the attacking queen winning this one. And there was even the loon in the right timing to actually make sure that the healers are not getting targeted. So far, really good opening. The question now though is if this is going to work with the Lalo on the back end. There's a lot of damage now on that queen. But the healers are keeping her safe. Yeah, that queen's charging away into that air expo. Taking that out, the sweeper she'll be able to grab as well. And the loons and the Lalo are coming straight into the eagle to the right side. King's ability goes off, so he's running his way through to the top side. We have a handful of spells, Rage. And look at that wall break! Oh, that wall break. What a brilliant oh wall break for the core of this thing! That was a beautiful break there! That wall break was money right there. Getting this queen into the core. So she's able to take down the single phone tower, take down the sweeper as well. And I would have never thought that this would get so close again. With time ticking as well though, there's not too many uh -oh. spots which she has left. But time is ticking, the multi phone tower is threatening with this Tesla farm around there as well. Roger ability has to be used, multi phone tower staying alive, invisibility spells there as well. 25 seconds, but that should be enough, especially with that queen yeah. working in there as well, the king on the outside. And Carwin, I mean, oh, Aria is the last attacker, and he is going, like, he is feeling the nerves. I mean, he is going to what? have uh, his hands, hands so, shaking most likely. You can see the excitement right there in the yeah, base game. They yeah. know, they're knowing they are back. They no are way. back in business. Best of three, right? it's more exciting. But to be honest, this comeback Ooh, right there here is we go. crazy as well. Ariam is coming in with the really risky oh, blimp. Boy. But the blimp is going to connect. Getting the value right there, it seems like. Another yeah. Mizuji spell, getting the scatter, getting the... Oh, the, the queen, queen is saving in herself. No wow. way. No way. The queen? Wait, she go... Oh, wait. Okay, no, she saved herself again. She's jumping in again. <laughs> what is no she doing? Way. That queen. Oh, she goes down. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> 
What is going on? <laughs> oh my goodness, we are it's just going back and forth. What is happening? But that queen going down is huge because you don't have to worry about that queen getting a few shots off on your queen's health, things like that. As the skellies are going to run off to this queen here, and remember, it doesn't matter even if it's going to be an overwhelming triple. If it's a time fail, it's still a fail, right? No matter what at the end of the day. So keep your eye on the clock as he has two minutes left as this queen is going to charge away into the town hall. And he's going to lolo probably over the eagle. Yeah, and the Tesla right now are really um, annoying looking, you want to say, for the king. Because he's probably going to walk to the outside again. Yes, he's not yep. going to come inside. Wait, that queen, is she going to stay to the outside? Is, oh. is she going for the tower? That's the question. And she does. Yes, okay. she is going to come back. That is that is really big for him. Minute and 30. But one time. minute and 30 seconds to say it. Time Here is we go. ticking. He needs to start now. And with uh -oh. that, we, I mean, we have to wait and see how that He's queen nervous. is going to pass through. She's going to go directly into the town of Poison. But the ladder has started and the king is protecting that multi, that most multi. likely everything from... Multi. Yeah, multi's gonna be a problem. He pops the Warren ability, hastes his way to the bottom. He has just over a minute left here as the Royal Champion helps grab that. The single target Inferno will eventually lock onto this RC. The balloons are pathing into the scatter shot, but the sweeper is gonna push these balloons to the bottom as the Royal Champ is invisible. She's gonna grab that multi. That's huge. Her ability's forced, so she won't be able to grab this single target. We got just under, we got 50 seconds with three lose left. She's gonna grab the single. No, the single stays up. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Do we have enough balloons here? Taking out the cannon. Wizard Tower. Unless we have a bunch of traps over here, this could be a problem. There's a Seeking Air Mine I mean, to the far right. This might be not be enough. Mines. Oh, oh, no. No well, way. Wait. They're the going down. Headhunter comes in. They're going down fast. 27 seconds. Balloons. Arium. Come on. The Warden can help a lot. The Warren's going to be tanking the single target Inferno. The minions, red air bombs to the right, red air bombs to the core. Single goes down. 16 seconds. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Just barely. Look at that. 10 seconds. He's going to turn around. He's celebrating. <laughs> he tripled. Wow. Look at that. Arium gets it. The force, the victory for MS Esports. Whoo, what a close ending there. <laughs> wow, he was one three out of the three attacks. And that means Batang. They did great. I mean, in the second war, they did incredible. They went so far, four out of four, and they have the percentage lead. And yeah, at the end of the day, the percentage is not the most important factor. It is the stars. And that's where we have uh MS Esports taking home that victory but at the same time Lens Loda is yep. one more time in to get that three star with the lock launcher let's see if he yeah. can somehow make this work for them get at least the perfect war in this final to think that you get a 12 star war and then you're just devastated that your opponent got a perfect war against you and then you answer with a perfect war yourselves that just shows you the composure of the tang and how they will not let like something like that put them down they will stay focused and say there's always a chance and lanzlada is going to continue that mindset here trying to get that three star to close it out even though they know they can't win on stars they will actually win on percentage if this triples here because they'll have just over two percent more than MSE sports and it was that one star that is devastating the one star that cost them the war it's just you hate to see it and you just you know when that happens it's those small things that's why you can't let the one star happen you have to have at least some backup plan somehow to try to secure the second star but in this case lance Lada is continuing this queen to walk all the way around look at this he's just using this base design to his advantage and she's just gonna walk around, grab all that value as the log launcher is going straight into the core. Yeah, log launcher is straight into the core to take down the multi Fire Tower. Now the Lalo through the town hall. He saved the warden to so make sure that the Lalo is having the power it needs. There is the rage for the Yeti to take down. Maybe not even not only the Royal Champ, but as well as the Queen. Is that going to work? No, the Queen is going to stay alive. That's now a big threat to the Lalo. The Lalo is having to go into that tunnel. There's another rage in place, but with that, there is no more rages left. No more rages. Tornado Traps over there as well to keep those loons inside. 
but behind the town hall red mines as well and those dudes are just getting obliterated but the royal yeah. champion is there to save the day maybe but time is ticking the queen's ability is still intact only 20 seconds left the rc's ability goes off he's got a freeze drop some headhunters that go in for the defending king and the balloons come to the top side he's got the minion making his way around the clan castle went down throws that up and look at that the tang finish with the oh. perfect war but they lose on a percentage or no they win on percentage but they lose by the one star but congratulations and let's give a huge round of applause to ms esports as they will be getting the golden ticket part